Okay, here we have two red tubes that didn't exactly clot. You can see I can just move it around and it's all liquid. So what we do in this situation is we have a blue tube here. I'm just going to draw from the Buffy code zone. Make sure to get some of the red blood cells as well. And we're going to take one of the tubes and I'm going to add the Buffy coat layer to this tube. Okay, by introducing this Buffy coat layer, we're going to help induce a clot. All right, so now let's go ahead and put these in the incubator just to speed up the process and we'll be good to go. So here we have two red tubes that didn't clot at all. On the left, after putting it in the incubator and adding a little bit of the Buffy coat from the blue layer, we're able to get a nice stable clot just a few minutes in the incubator. The other red tube, we didn't add any Buffy coat from the other blue liquid, okay? And you can see it still didn't clot. So if you're having trouble getting a clot with a red tube, one good trick is to introduce some of the Buffy coat zone, including red blood cells, from a blue tube to the red tube. And that's gonna help activate the clotting system. And you can see we've got one stable clot with the blue tube and one not stable clot where no Buffy coat from the blue tube was added. And now we've brought in both tubes to the room and you can see a nice stable clot from the red tube where the blue was added. Yep, you can cut it right there and look at all this extra buffy coat layer rich in white blood cells, love it.